So you, when you were 19, you decided you wanted to become a stand-up comedian. Was it when you were 19? Not really. I wanted, um, I wanted to be an actor. Okay. Uh, I wanted to get to Melbourne more than anything. I just wanted to go to Melbourne. Right. And I wanted to be in an artistic scene in Melbourne. Right. And I thought, uh, I don't have the guts to sing and I can't play an instrument. And um, you can sort of act without anything, really. Yeah, right. You know, you right, can just right. be an actor if you want, yeah. I reckon. <laughs> So, uh, but then even better than that, I found stand up, and you yeah. can totally be a stand up if you reckon. You just do you it. think? Because I think I couldn't. That to me would make me so vulnerable to go. Okay, I'm going to do stand up comedy. I'm going to get on a stage. I'm going to make people laugh. When you're so young to make that decision, like that's pretty full on. Yeah, but when you're young, you're so gutsy. You know, yeah. you're so. Uh, you know, boys. Boys drive their cars too fast, and yeah, girls yeah, yeah. hook up with boys who drive their cars yeah. too fast, and you just you just do that <laughs> stuff, you know. And for me, uh, I was like, sure, why not? Well, I'll give it give it a go. And initially, I thought it's one of those things just to say I'd done it, you know. Right. So, were you did like your friends and stuff used to laugh at you for you to go, okay, I can do this. Yes. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. In high school, I could make people laugh. And right. That was how I made friends, you know. Yeah. Kept friends, so. So I knew I, if I could harness that. And even now I always say that to people who want to be comedians, you know, like think of the things that make your friends laugh and start right. from there, you know. Okay, yeah, yeah, if, yeah. If I make you laugh with stories about my relatives dying, yes. then start there, yeah. you know. Put it on stage. Yeah, don't yeah. kind of leave that as, no, that's just a conversation thing, and then go and start making up these crazy jokes about, right. can you imagine if my dad was Tony Abbott and my mum was a donkey? <laughs> It'll be really funny, and, you know. That's what they do sometimes. You that's kind of funny, you know, though. It's kind of funny. It's not, Coming from you, but you see kids get up to do stand up. You think, what are you talking about? Yeah. Just talk about stuff that makes people laugh. You don't have to invent stuff. You know. I can't like because I that to me seriously is would be the most because I went to and saw Dave Thornton do a show late uh, right. recently, who I found really funny. But I was up there and I thought, you make yourself so vulnerable, but then when you've got the crowd in your hand, that feeling would be amazing. It is. Does yeah. it get addictive? Yeah, 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 absolutely. And I think you learn to do it. You go through a period of time where every gig's touch and go. Will I have a good yeah. gig? Will I have a bad gig? But then you learn how to do it. One day it clicks. Right. And you don't ever really have a bad gig again. Like maybe really? you have a crazy gig where something happens. But no, you should get to a level, a skill level where you just go and do it and you deal with whatever, you catch whatever's thrown at you and yeah, you just right. turn it around. You, you need the leadership skills to, to make all those people just fall in line behind you. Right, <laughs> Not right, where right, you right. reckon you're going. Not where, not where they reckon they're going. Yeah, you're in not control. Not where one drunk lady reckons you're going. Yeah, yeah, you know? right, yeah. Because yeah. I was sitting with you and Lawrence Mooney once and you were saying how it was really different, the comedy scene, when you guys started out. Because there's kind of a almost a clique of you who all started at the similar time yeah. and went through it all together. And it was more rock and roll back then, don't you reckon? I think it was. Yeah, I think it was because we we're all on the dole for one thing. Yeah. <laughs> in those days, there was no dull diary or anything like that. That you'd get this this form in the mail every two weeks, and it had you had to put two jobs on it. You know. Right. And you had to say the business name, I think the person you spoke to, and their phone number. Well, and that was it. N not even was that it. But very rarely did I even fill out all three of those lines. Yeah. Right. And <laughs> you'd still put, get the money. I'd be on the tram <laughs> on the way there, and I'd go better electrical. <laughs> You know, what else can I say? <laughs> McDonald's, yes, and there you go, and there's my form. And there was just no hassles from anyone. And, yeah, so we all had this tiny income, but we all had this income, so we yeah. were allowed to really devote ourselves to stand-up, to writing and performing. And, uh, yeah, so we had that opportunity. Because do you look now, like, when you were starting, social media wasn't around or anything no. like that? And I... And I think that you guys were saying that it's almost like the comedians now are, so, are almost too aware of what's going on, getting their name out there, social media, that it's yeah. quite straight now. Yeah, I think they are really straight. I think comedians yeah. are really straight now. Yeah, and also when I arrived in Melbourne, the, the leading lights of stand-up were Greg Flea, Judith mm. Lucy yeah. and Anthony Morgan. Right. Who are three of the craziest. Crazy. 
crazy yeah. rock stars, yeah. right? And back then in the day, in 1994, I mean, those three people were out of control. Yeah, but they would have sent, like, said it, this is what it is. This so you is followed, what it is. Yeah. This is what it is. It's an art form. We're artists and we live that way and we experiment with life and we experiment with everything and we yeah. experiment with our comedy and, yeah, so that it was exactly the artistic community I was looking for.